Okay, again, node voltage analysis to find V1 and V2. So we find the essential nodes. One is here, one is here, and one is here. It is one of the reference. Mm, just label the other one. So this one is because it says V1, which is good. It's called V1 and V2. And we write the KCL but V1 and V2. Okay, so KCL at not V1. So the current which is going this way, which is V1, minus the other side of that was the voltage here. This is zero. So and we see a 144 voltage source based on the direction. This potential is more than here. So if this is zero, this is 144 volt. Okay, so therefore V1 minus 144 divided by four. This voltage minus that voltage divided by the resistance will be the current in this direction. Plus V1 minus zero divided by 10. Plus current in this direction is V1 minus V2 divided by 80 equal to zero. This is the KCL at node V1. Now at node V2. Okay, so let's look at this current. V2 minus V1 divided by 80. V2 minus V1 divided by 80. And then look at this current. This current is actually negative 3 amp. We have 3 amp is going up, so negative 3 amp is going down. And then this current V2 minus zero divided by. Okay, two equations to unknown, let me just arrange them. V1 times one port plus one third of one over 80 plus V2 plus minus one over 80. Equal to 144 divided by 4. First equation. Second equation. Second equation. We want times negative 1 over 80. Okay. And then we do 1 over 80 plus 1 over 4. Equal to the constant. Okay, two unknown two equations. We can easily solve it. Okay, to solve it, we're going to see that the minus 100 volt and meter is 30. Okay, now as an extra, if somebody tells you now what is this current from here again, you look at this voltage, which is V1, which is 100, minus one. So if I call this IA, IA is this voltage, 100 minus 144, Divided by four. That's the current in I A. And let's say also let's look at the I B here. Somebody tells me what is. Uh, let's consider this as I. What's the I B here? Again, you look at the direction of the current. Um, so at the beginning, the voltage is V two minus V one. So IV is basically V2 minus V1. This is V2 minus V1 divided by 80, which V2 is 20 minus 100 divided by 5. Okay, again, I repeat that in general. When you have a resistor and you see a 
current I here. Then you have to look at the, the voltage, the direction that the current is going this way. So this is UA and this is VP, that's it. And this is R. So the I would be VA minus V divided by R. Okay. And then let's say if somebody tells you now what is this current, call it I prime, and look at the direction and go now from this side to that side. I prime is beginning of the arrow, this VB minus VA divided by R. So it really depends on the direction of the current that they are asking us. Whatever the direction is, you look at the beginning voltage minus the end voltage divided by the resistance. 